One of the coolest things about WWE Battlegrounds is that almost all of the arenas feature their own unique elements, therefore today we're going to run through each of the different arenas and all the ways that you can interact with them. Before we do though, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more Battlegrounds content. The first arena that we're going to take a look at is the Everglades, which is an arena that I'm sure a lot of people will be familiar with following the game's ad campaign as this arena is set in the Florida swamp with two interactive crocodiles either side of the ring. The first way to interact with these is by using a throw, which you can do by holding the grapple button to carry your opponent, then walking over to the ropes and pressing the throw button in the direction of the crocodile. That's a mouthful. These throws don't have to take place in the ring, as you can also perform them on the outside. If you're playing as a high flyer, then you won't be able to pick up your opponent, however you can still send them in the direction of the crocodile by using an Irish whip. Switching over to New York, this arena features four fire pits that will occasionally manifest at ringside, which you can use to set your opponent on fire. The trick here is to watch for the subway train that passes by on the left hand side, as once the train passes, the arena will then shake and random areas around the ring will spawn fire. Once the fire does spawn, you can deal damage to your opponent by throwing them into it, either from the inside or from the outside of the ring. If you find yourself standing in one of these areas when the fire does spawn, make sure to get away as fast as you can, as standing in that area will see your health bar drain. Heading over to Scotland, here we have an interactive moment featuring a set of Scottish bagpipes as there's a piper in the audience that you can steal them from. To do this, you want to keep an eye on the piper and wait for him to fall asleep, then when he does, head on over to him and press LB or L1 to take control of the bagpipes. Once you have the bagpipes, all you have to do is follow your opponent around the ring as the music will continue to drain their health. As well as stealing the piper's bagpipes, there's also moments where a set of bagpipes will be thrown over to ringside, so make sure to keep an eye out for any on the floor. For this next arena, we're heading over to Mexico, where it's possible to take control of a remote-controlled ram. To gain control of the ram, all you need to do is head to the control station in the upper left-hand corner and then press LB or L1 to hop over the barricade. Once you do this, the control will switch you over to the ram, where you'll then be able to run around and attack your opponent for around 15 seconds. Whilst this is a good way to deal some damage without having to worry about taking any yourself, one thing to be careful of is the amount of momentum that your opponent will gain, as each time you attack them with the ram, then this will increase their heat bar. Up next we have the Detroit Auto Shop, which actually has two different elements that you can interact with. The first one is the orange car that's jacked up to the right, as should you carry your opponent over to the ropes and then throw them towards it, then this will see them land on the jack, causing the car to come crashing down and deal some major damage. Much like in the Everglades, this interaction doesn't have to be done using a throw, as it's also possible to use an Irish whip if you're struggling to lift an opponent. Following the car, if we head over to the left side of the ring, you'll notice that there is a big red barrel which you can also interact with as it's possible to throw your opponent into the barrel and set off an explosion. Alternately, if you don't have the throw ability, then you can also interact with these barrels by pressing LB or L1 to pick them up, where you can then use them to attack your opponents and destroy parts of the ring. One thing you will have to be wary of when using these barrels is that they do have a short fuse, therefore if you hold on to them for too long, then they're gonna explode. Up next we have the Boot Camp Arena, which comes with its own helicopter moment, as you'll notice this army helicopter flying around in the background. Should the match go on long enough, then you'll eventually see the helicopter make its way down to ringside, where you can then exit the ring and interact with it by pressing LB or L1. Once you do this, you'll see your character climb up onto the legs of the chopper as it begins to ascend, leading to this target area appearing where you can then move it around and target your opponent. Once you have your opponent in view, press the grapple button and you'll perform a special diving attack to send them flying. So that's all of the unique arena moments for the different location based arenas, however there is also arenas for both Raw and Wrestlemania, and while these arenas don't have any interactive moments of their own, it is still possible to break the ring should you deal enough damage when you're inside it. 
So there you go, that's all the interactive arena moments. Let me know which of these is your favourite in the comments and please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more Battlegrounds content. Until next time though, thank you for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.